Hey all, this is Sean Gerber with Reduce Cyber Risk, and this is part of my video series on the CISSP exam questions. And as if you're taking your CISSP, I know you're worrying about those exam questions because they can be a bugger. So we're going to start this off. This is going to be the ongoing piece of information I provide out there for individuals who are involved with Reduce Cyber Risk. And again, you come out to Reduce Cyber Risk and you can get all kinds of exam questions along with checking out my courses on Udemy. And uh, in Udemy, you can get all of these training videos. Plus, you'll be getting the CISSP domains that I have available. All of this stuff will be available to you as part of Reduce Cyber Risk and Udemy's products. So go ahead. It's going to be awesome. I know you're going to love it. It's going to be great. I mean, you will like it. <laughs> At least not. If not, give me a chance. Let me know and give me some feedback. We'll make some changes to it. All right. So this is CISSP question, exam questions 001. And this is over domain one, security and risk assessment. All right. The question is, if a security mechanism offers confidentiality, then it offers high level assurance that authorized subjects can blank the data, objects, and resources. So... Is it A, manage, B, mitigate, C, secrecy, D, due diligence? And the answer is C, secrecy of the data is an important aspect around confidentiality of the data and that only authorized persons have access to it. So basically it comes down to, as again, I'll read it out. If a security mechanism offers confidentiality, there you go, is the key piece, then it offers high level assurance that authorized subjects can have secrecy of the data, objects, resources. Can have that secrecy of the data, objects, and the resources. Okay? Keeps it quiet. Keeps it to itself. It's confidential. Okay, next question. When is confidentiality compromised? A. Shipped in plain text or stored unprotected. B. Data is shipped when the circuit is complete. C. Data is transmitted or stored in an unprotected container. Or D, data is unable to reach its destination due to the circuit being down. And the answer is, drumroll please. A, data shipped in plain text or stored in a location without various protections, i.e. access controls, encryption, etc., will be a compromise of the confidentiality. Okay, so you don't want to store stuff and you don't want to store it or ship it in plain text. That's just bad because your confidentiality will be ruined because it's now open for everybody to see and to enjoy. So therefore, don't do that. So we want to keep our confidentiality confident, confidential. Yeah, that's it. More like it. Confidential. All right. Next question. When looking to maintain confidentiality of user credentials, the use of a spreadsheet for password storage is the best option. A, true, B, false. Which one is it? I hope you know the answer to this. Answer is B, the use of a spreadsheet to store credentials, especially password and usernames, those sort of things, is a great first step. It is, it is. it's kind of like training wheels and having, you know, milk to drink as a child, but, but it's not the best choice. And then realistically, the spreadsheet is only acceptable if a password is associated with it. So basically, if you have an Excel spreadsheet or something along those lines and you password protect it, yeah, then that's okay, sort of. It's better than nothing. But at the end of the day, that still kind of affects your confidentiality. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this, this little quick snapshot around CISSP exam questions. You can, you can check me out on Udemy.com. Type in CISSP certification, and you will come up with a plethora of things. Then you add Sean Gerber to it. That's S-H-O-N, like, okay, Sean. Yeah, I know. I love my parents. Uh, Sean Gerber, and you will find all kinds of good stuff out there for you to purchase. So check it out at Udemy.com. Also, you can go to Reduce Cyber Risk and type in CISSP training, and then it will take you to the same length for that. You could go directly to Udemy. Again, all this stuff, I'm eventually, I'm putting it all out there. You're going to see it. Uh, the bottom line is, is that we are trying to do our best to provide you CISSP training so that you can pass that doggone test and do well and enhance your cybersecurity career. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll catch you on the flip side. See ya.